Hey guys, it's Roxanne. Happy Easter. I hope um, your weekend is still full of friends and family and lots of love and joy. Um, welcome to day 48 of our 62 day video blog challenge. I want to keep this as quick as possible. Um, but in the same token, I've really been inspired. Um, having some quiet time with friends and family has really been just a huge blessing of being able to, you know, take that ability and blessing of having an entrepreneurial heart and working full time from home and being able to put my business on pause but fulfill other areas within myself that I needed. So, and as you guys know, um, I absolutely love my business, um, but what I love best is being able to help and serve others because other people have served me, they've taught me, they've mentored me, they've coached me, um, they poured into me, you know, and so therefore how could I not want to pour back into other people? And as my mom used to say, is like when another person comes into our lives um, or another business comes into our lives, it's not that you don't love the other person any less. Um, everyone doesn't get less love. Your heart just grows, you know? So you have more love, you have more passion, you have more excitement. Um, and we know that when we're moving forward, success builds upon our successes. But unfortunately, sometimes it can also build upon mistakes. And remember what dad says? Dad says that mistakes are merely lessons. Um, sometimes we have to learn them twice. So understanding that there's, there's three mistakes that successful people um, can sometimes make and we don't even recognize that we're making them. The first one is, is that we believe that we know it all. Um, but in our business of marketing and sales, everything is constantly shifting. They're constantly shifting the goal line. They're constantly shifting the gameplay. That nothing is the same and it's always changing. So we have to be very attentive. Just because you're doing great at something today doesn't mean that you're looking to what's coming into play into your future. So be very attentive to that. Um, you know, be ready for change is what I'm saying. The second one is that um, when people think that, you know, they don't need coachings and mentorings anymore. We all need coaches and mentoring. I mean, heck, even Superman had Lois Lane, right? You know, everybody, our greatest athletes had coaches and mentors, our boxers, our runners, um, doesn't matter what sports they're in. And yet sometimes we forget that we're not so unlike that, that we also need to be attending events, uh, signing up for webinars, and being willing to then share that information into our downline to those people that couldn't make that event. And the third quick mistake is people get busy. You know, you're really, really busy. And I remember when I was at my old job for 15 years, it's like, you know, there, there's keeners out there and they go, go, go. And it's like, oh, yay. You know, you're the first one in the race, but you still, you're still a rat, but you run, you won the rat race. So, you know, being a keener in this business is extremely important. Now is when you're going to want to sit at the front of the class. You're going to be want to be right there and be the teacher's pet. You want to soak up every little bit of nuance possible all the time. So understanding that being successful doesn't mean that we're not going to make mistakes. Being successful means that we will see them, we will acknowledge them, and then we will learn and we will move past them. Anyway, those are my thoughts for today. As always, if you found value, please like, comment, and share. If you want to know what gives me 100% um, joy, 100% of the Commission's time after Easter, come uh, chat with me tomorrow, and I will let you in upon our new Google Plus Boot Camp. It's a hugely underutilized um, and untapped market for our businesses and developing ourselves, right? So let's chat, and you guys have a great day. Happy Easter.